Hi guys, what follows here is a sample video showing how to use Adobe Audition to create an auto ducking audio. That is auto ducking audio, which means the music in the background can be ducked as you start talking on the microphone. This is useful for uh, many purposes and uh, is used to make sure the vocals are clear in comparison to the music. As you can see here, I'm leaving delays and gaps so you can hear the audio coming and going as I talk. So this is a sample recording and uh, the music should be ducking in and out as I start talking. Hopefully the audio should be clear and concise other than me making mistakes. Alright, hi guys. So you've uh, come to this far through the video, so you've obviously seen the results of the uh, sidechain sample uh, media that I set up earlier. So I'm going to uh, recreate that audio entirely now, uh, showing you how I did so. So I'm going to start by opening up um, the two files. I've got the vocal and a vocal processed. Uh, the only reason doing this is that the standard vocal is a non-compressed version and the vocal process is, is compressed with uh, noise limiting and all sorts hard limiting on it. I'll maybe show you how I did that in a minute as well but we'll start with this to get going. Now I'm also going to uh, need to go and find some uh, some uh, audio uh, that lives on another drive so let me just go find that now Um, so I've got a track by uh, Music For Your Vids that I want to load. It's quite a hard, powerful track. It's called Trans Party People. So it's quite a powerful track. Um, you'll see here if I just play a snippet of it. So you can see it's quite a loud, powerful track. Anyway, so we'll come back to that in a second. I'm just going to create a new session. I'm just going to browse this machine. See, uh, actually, I'll just put it on the desktop for the moment. So we've got sidechain, and we'll just call it sidechain demo. That should do. Okay, so here's a side tension demo. So I'm going to start with the basic standard vocal. This is one I recorded earlier on and you heard a minute ago. What follows here is a sample video showing how to use and gaps. So you so it's a, approximately a one minute video with uh, these gaps in the middle, obviously. So I'm going to drop the um, music track alongside it. Let's uh, just hear what that sounds like to start with. Hi guys, what follows here is a sample video showing how to use Adobe Audition to create an auto-ducking audio. That is auto- So you can hear straight away that the audio is just getting lost in the music. It's not really doing well at all. Right, so... Um, okay, so the way that we set up this uh, processing is we need to set up an amplitude compression and we need to use dynamic processing. I'll set that back to default and um, I'll explain how I'm doing this. So I'm setting up pretty much a flat line compression so it's really harsh, really deep processor. Um, so I'm just going to OK that and then I'm going to go back into it. Now it's, Adobe Audition sometimes crashes when you, does this, when you do this which is great but I'm going to switch on the side chain and choose Stereo. Okay, it didn't crash, that's good. And then I'm going to choose sidechain. I'm going to see sidechain in left, sidechain in right. So you can see there's a sidechain channel listed here now. So that's fine. Now, if I play that at the moment, nothing's really happened. Just by example, by the way, here's the input to the compressor and here's the output to the compressor. So once I set the sidechain up, you'll see that the output starts ducking whereas the input stays live at full level. That'll let you see that the sidechain is actually working. So here's another quick sample again with the sidechain completely disabled. 
So there's pretty much no effect coming. Now what you need to do here is go into your vocal track, go into the side chain, and there's now a side chain section. And you can send the side train chain to the dynamic processing. So let's watch what let's watch what happens now, keeping an eye on these two channels here. Hi guys, what follows here is a sample video showing how It'll work better if I choose the uh, audio channel before doing this. The side channels will be live and you'll see these meters. So here we go again. Hi guys, what follows here is a sample video showing how... So there's an example. The audio is being ducked. You can see it ducking at the bottom end here. I'm just going to skip forward into the actual sort of live, heavier part of the music. And uh, just keep an eye on this meter again. So clear in comparison to the music. As you can see here, I'm leaving delays and gaps. So you can see the side chain is actually working, although the performance of it is not particularly great yet. But this is where um, you can come back to the effects and enter the processing itself and actually start tweaking the settings a bit better. So I'm just going to let this play for a second and I'm going to tweak the settings. So keep an eye on, uh, keep an eye on these two meters down here as I tweak these settings. So first thing first, I'm going to increase the release time quite dramatically. Um, I want that release time to be quite a bit longer. Um, and let's just see what happens there. So clear in comparison to the music. As you can see here, I'm leaving delays and gaps. So you can hear the audio coming and going. So that's a lot better to start with, but the vocals just aren't really powerful enough. So. What we could do is come into the vocal channel, add um, a speech volume leveler and uh, level it to, um, let's see, about minus 10. Um, I think that's, I can't remember how this works fully, but let's just do that, see how that sounds. Plays and gaps so you can hear the audio coming and going as I talk. So this is a sample if I, record. If I choose the appropriate channel now, you'll hear the uh, audio is uh, ducking quite dramatically. So let's go right back to the start and let's hear this again. And let's keep an eye on this input and output to uh, see how the levels are changing. Hi guys, what follows here is a sample video showing how to use Adobe Audition to create an auto ducking audio. That is auto ducking audio, which means the music in the background can be ducked as you start talking on the microphone. Now you'll see that's not working particularly well because this speech volume leveler is pretty horrible to be honest. So I'm just going to change over to my processed audio. And I managed to delete my music at the same time by mistake, so let's just put that back as well. Okay, so now I've got a slightly heavier processed audio, and uh, that's the only real change I've made. So let's keep an eye on these meters again. Hi guys, what follows here is a sample video showing how to use Adobe Audition to create an auto-ducking audio. That is auto-ducking audio, which means the music in the background can be ducked as you start talking on the microphone. This is useful for uh, many purposes and uh, is used to make sure the vocals are clear in comparison to the music. As you can see here, I'm leaving delays and gaps. So, so that seems to be working absolutely fine. So just to cover what we did again here. So to cover everything we've done so far. We basically started by putting our two tracks in into separate channels. On the music channel, the one we want to duck, we created a Dynamics processor. It needs to be a Dynamics processor. And then you switch on the side chain and you choose Stereo. Once you've chosen that, you then come in here and you should see this looking like this. This is the most important point, the side chain. 
Um, so that's fine. Now what you do is you set a fairly aggressive compression, i.e. a really hard limit, um, appropriately low, so that when you side chain in, you drop the output level dramatically of this compressor. Then to finish off, you come back to the vocal track, the one you want to cause the side chain. You go into the sends and you choose send one to the dynamic processor. So you push the vocals into the side chain of the dynamic processor. That's all there is to it. Beyond that, the only thing remaining is to tweak this to make it a bit cleaner. I quite often will switch on blind curves and I'll make it sort of a bit like that so it's not quite as aggressive. Um, I'll let you hear a little bit of that with this curve and you'll see the audio change as I change the curve. I'll adjust it as I'm playing. As you can see here, I'm leaving delays and gaps so you can hear the audio coming and going as I talk. So this is a sample recording and uh, the music should be ducking in and out as I start talking. Hopefully the audio should be clear and concise other than me making mistakes. So one thing that's good and it's generally used in the broadcast industry is when you're uh, ducking audio, the background music over your vocal should be something thing like about minus 20 dB to make sure you're perfectly clear and concise. So I think this vocal ducking is doing something in that sort of zone. So let's just keep an eye on these meters again just as a final test. Hi guys, what follows here is a sample video showing how to use Adobe Audition to create an... And in fact what I will do just to prove a point more than anything else is I am going to mute the vocals. Now the vocals will still go out the side chain. So listen to the effect that the side chain is having, even although the vocals are actually muted. So you'll hear the music diving all over. So you can hear the background music ducking left, right and centre. It's got all over. So it's following the vocals basically. So final playback just to get an idea of what we're dealing with. Hi guys, what follows here is a sample video showing how to use Adobe Audition to create an auto ducking audio. That is auto ducking audio, which means the music in the... Now one problem I have noticed is that sometimes the ducking will actually pick up uh, background noise and it'll duck it slightly so have a quick look at the levels as we cross over the silence at the end here and listen to the music to see if it ducks or not other than me making mistakes so I think I think there was maybe a couple of decibel difference there um, I think that can be handled if you were to put a um, I'm just trying to think of how we'd best do that. If we put a processor in that basically is used as a hard limiter below, let's say, minus 30, and I make that really quite harsh, that may well be enough just to make the difference. Other than me making mistakes. So let me just ch choose the correct channel and try that again. I know the audio didn't sound quite right because the levels aren't correct. Let's just adjust that level here and um, see how this gets on now. Other than me making mistakes. So if I choose the correct channel again. And move to the right piece of audio. Other than me making mistakes. Yeah, that seems to solve the problem. So to make sure your background audio isn't uh, muting the music you're best to um, put hard limiting in and uh, basically put in a noise gating effectively. So here's the noise gate channel on its own, the vocals on their own. 
be ducking in and out as I start talking. Hopefully the audio should be clear and concise, other than me making mistakes. So that's not particularly good level there either, so I'm just going to bring that down a bit further and try that again. Talking. Hopefully the audio should be clear and concise, other than... So I need that to come up a little bit further, because it looks like it's about minus 50 or something that the vocals cut out there. Let's try it again. King in and out as I start talking. Hopefully the audio should be clear and concise, other than me making mistakes. Yeah, so it seems to be around about right. Um, just going to change the attack and delays let's, and decays. Let's try that again. Hopefully the audio should be clear and concise, other than me making mistakes. Right, so that's that's probably better. It's it's a bit clippy on its own, but as soon as we put the music behind it again. Um, it will hopefully sound an awful lot clearer. So here we go, a final test. Let's hear what this sounds like. I'll make sure I've got the, voc the music track chosen again so you'll get these outputs. So here we go again. And uh, the music should be ducking in and out as I start talking. Hopefully the audio should be clear and concise, other than me making mistakes. There you go, so that's all of the problems fixed. You've got the dynamic processing working, you've got the uh, the cut-off shelf working on the vocals so it doesn't affect with the background noise. Looks like we've got uh, auto-ducking working quite well. So, since I've just built this uh, manually, let's just go out by listening to this once again. Here we go. Thanks very much for your time. Hopefully this has been useful. Remember to subscribe, like and all that sort of stuff. We'll speak to you later. Bye-bye. Hi guys, what follows here is a sample video showing how to use Adobe Audition to create an auto ducking audio. That is auto ducking audio, which means the music in the background can be ducked as you start talking on the microphone. This is useful for uh, many purposes and uh, is used to make sure the vocals are clear in comparison to the music. As you can see here, I'm leaving delays and gaps so you can hear the audio coming and going as I talk. So this is a sample recording and uh, the music should be ducking in and out as I start talking. Hopefully the audio should be clear and concise other than me making mistakes.